Hey guys, Tidy Beats here. Second time trying to make this video because it just ends up glitching out and my head's doing like that, like that and everything. It's just really fucking weird. Got my quest today, basically. Show you how to install side quests, get everything working, set up as a developer. And then on the next video, I'll show you how to install stuff for Beat Saber. Make sure, you're going to have to make sure you have a cable that's like USB one end and a USB-C the other end sort of thing. I've got this like USB C so you can plug it into your headset to the computer. Or unless you're unless you're like me and your PC has a USB C port on its motherboard, then you could just use that with the power cable that comes with it. I'm gonna be using that. My my headset's connected to my PC. Let's get on with this, shall we? Right, now let's try this video again. For the second time. Right. Um what do I need to start with? Oculus. Actually, I need to go to developer. Oh. Oh. Oculus. Oculus dev. Let's just type oc oc Oculus dev. Oculus dev developer center. Oculus, oh, Oculus developer center. Make sure you sign in. Go down to develop. Or is it manage? Actually, you know, develop, downloads, and then you're on it's miscellaneous. Uh, I have no bloody clue right now. Uh, Tell you what, fuck that. Don't worry about any of that. Right, Oculus Quest. Nope, don't worry about any of that. Let's just do this. Uh, history. You're going to need these. These two links I'll put down in the description so you don't need to worry about it and everything. Uh... AEB drivers, my apps. These two links that you're, these two links that are on now. First, you want to make an organization to make the developer stuff. So you press create a new organization, type in whatever you want, press I understand, submit that, and then just press agree like that, and it'll make it. There you go, it's made sort of thing. It'll pop up here. I see, I've done this so many times here recently. You don't need that anymore. Now, if you go on to to get that's to put your and then you want to go to your mobile device that you have connected with the Oculus Quest. Now, you, if, I don't know if you can see there, guys, but my Quest is all set up. I don't know if that will help it. Nope. But you basically click on your Quest, guys. You click on your quest when it wants to load it. Go on, say. Let's see if, we can see if there's anything going on in the headset. Oh, there we go. That's why. I Guardian didn't set up right. That's fine. Let me just reset the home. There we go. There we go. Guardian's all set now. Per headset, is it going to pop up or not? Let me just close out the app and reload it. Uh, there we go. And it should start connecting to the quest. Once it's connected, you'll see that you want to press more op more settings. You should see developer mode. Turn that on and off or on. You want to turn that on and then your quest is in developer mode, guys. And it will not, that will not show up and will not work if your quest is not in developer mode. And if I'm right, guys, okay, now I'm in developer mode because I've got my quest already connected. It says here, to connect, the connected device will be able to access files on the headset. Just press allow. And then it should just pop up on my PC like it's done. Yep. 
but that won't work unless you have these drivers installed. So what you want to do is press that and press download. Like open them, sort of thing. But I, I've already got this here, so if I show you what to do, you can just click here, click there, click there, press install, and it'll do it for you. Then you want to install, you want to download SideQuest. Uh, to download that, you go to this link that will be in the description. If you're on Windows like me, you press this one. Um, just click on that, press download. Go through the installation like you'd normally do. And SideQuest should boot up. It should recognize your headset instantly. Sometimes it can be buggy. Sometimes you might need to restart the headset for it to work. Sometimes you need to turn on de developer mode on and off. There you go, connected. Don't know why it says Wi-Fi, but it, it, either way it's connected. And if I go to, well, if I open that, guys, you'll be able to see my screen and like my thing and stuff. But that's how to do all that, guys. I'll see you guys on the next video, and peace out.